This video will explain how to replace the battery and fuse in the MTP2322 Digital Multimeter or DMM by John Anson's Copyright 2014 All rights reserved Now let's learn how to replace the battery in the MTP2322 Digital Multimeter or DMM In this video I will explain how to identify a low battery condition in your multimeter, replace the battery, and should you blow the fuse on the milliamp current jack, I will show you how to replace that fuse at the same time. When you power on the digital multimeter, take a look at the display. If you see this battery alarm right here, that means your battery in the multimeter is at a low voltage and any measurements that you make with this multimeter will not be of any value. So I recommend that you replace the battery before you do any measurements with this multimeter when you see this symbol show up on the LCD display. First let's look at replacing the battery. I always grab a second multimeter, turn it on, set it to a suitable voltage range. Since I'm working with the 9 volt battery, I'm going to use the 20 volt range on this multimeter. The 2 volts wouldn't work because I would just get an overload condition. So the 20 volts is the most accurate range to measure the voltage. And I'm going to measure the voltage of my 9 volt batteries. So this one's minus 8.52 volts. If I reverse the leads, I should get a positive voltage. So this little terminal here is a positive terminal. Let's measure the other one. 8.99. So this is the better battery to use. So I'm going to put this one aside. So I've got a good battery here. And the other thing I'm going to need is a small Phillips screwdriver to take the back off. To take a multimeter apart I need to take this rubber cover off and you just simply pull it apart carefully, set it aside and you'll uh, flip the meter over and you'll see that there are three screws that we can remove. One, two, three. If we look carefully at the back of the multimeter, it tells us some of the things that we need to know. First, our fuse is going to be a 200 milliamp fuse with a 250 volt rating. The other thing that it's going to tell us is that we need a 9 volt battery. It also tells us that we can measure 1000 volts category 2 and 600 volts category 3 and it has a pollution degree index of 2. So those are some important things that we can find out. I'm mainly interested right now in the size of the fuse and the battery that I need. I already knew that I needed a 9 volt battery so let's take this apart. So using my Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to remove these three screws. And lift the back case off very carefully from the multimeter. So here you can see there's my battery that is needing replacing. Now be very careful with this while you have this all open because this circuit board comes is loose. It's not really attached. So we'll be we'll leave that alone just for now. Let's replace the battery. So I just unclip it and match up the terminals and put it back into its battery holder. Just to make sure that the battery is working properly, I'm going to carefully hold this all together and turn the power button on. 
There we go. And you can see the little battery symbol in the bottom left corner of the LCD is not lit up anymore, so we do have a good battery. So we've replaced the battery successfully. So let's turn this off. Now let's learn how to replace the fuse in the MTP2322 digital multimeter or DMM. To replace the fuse, I need to carefully lift the circuit board off the front of the case. And here is where the fuse is located. Let's get a little closer view of that. So this is the fuse that we need to replace. So we're going to need a very small jeweler's screwdriver to lift it out. This is a small slotted screwdriver that I'll use. Now you're going to see some little uh, potentiometers here, like this one, this one, this one, and there's a couple others that aren't on the uh, screen right now. But don't be fiddling or touching any of those. Uh, other, if you do, you're going to affect the calibration of your multimeter and render it quite useless. So I'm going to take the slotted screwdriver. I'm going to hold the circuit board very carefully, and from the side here, I'm going to just go in there, pry it up, pull the, pull the fuse out. So I've got the fuse here now, and I'm now going to show you how to test your fuse. Now to check the fuse, I'm going to use my second digital multimeter. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to set the function range switch to the lowest resistance range, in this case 200 ohms. You can see it set right here. So right now uh, with my leads just like this, this is an infinite resistance so that's why I'm getting an overload. So let's just measure the fuse that I pulled out. There's the fuse I pulled out and it's not doing anything. If I connect the meter leads together to make sure my meter is working right, I'm measuring about 0.4 ohms. That's pretty close to zero, so that's good. So let's check the fuse one more time. And that's definitely a blown fuse. So let's get another fuse. So this is a fuse I... spare fuse that I have. I'm going to measure the resistance of it before I put it in. And you can see I'm measuring about 1.6 ohms here, 1.5 thereabouts, it's bouncing around. That's pretty close to zero ohms, so this is a good fuse. So I'm going to put this one in my multimeter and I should be able to measure current again on the milliamp jack. If you look carefully on the end of the fuse, you will see the markings for the voltage rating. You can see as I rotate this, it says 250 V, so that's 250 volts. And this fuse is marked 0 0.3 amps. So the fuse that we're looking for should say 200 milliamps or 0.2 amps. So this is a fuse that I actually took out of the multimeter, so somebody's replaced it with a higher value fuse, and you don't really want to do that. You don't want to use a tin foil or anything like that to bypass it or a chunk of wire, because all you're going to do is if you you uh, try to draw too much current with the, or measure too much current with the multimeter, you will destroy your multimeter, and you don't want to do that. So. You're looking for 0.2 amps, 0 0.2 amps for your fuse for this particular multimeter. Resistors, and they will affect the calibration of the multimeter. So if you touch them at all, then you will destroy the calibration of your multimeter and render it quite useless. The other thing that you might want to uh, be careful with is this battery terminal. It does come through the circuit board and so it's acting as a little bit of you know protection here from pulling it out right back here. That's that's one thing we gotta watch for. This funny thing right back here is the sounder for the continuity testing. 
The other thing that will happen is there's these little plastic sleeves for the input jacks and they sometimes fall out. So you have to make sure you match them with the jacks. So you can see here they all fell out like that. And make sure the black one goes to the common input jack. So that's this one right here. And if you don't want these things to fall out, you could put a little dot of crazy glue or super glue just on the edge of the sleeve so that they will not fall out uh, if you're taking this thing apart again. Okay, so I'm ready to put this all back together again. Everything's in its proper place. So I'm going to just take this circuit board. I'm going to support the battery and I'm going to put it in its place in the holder and then line up the circuit board with these jacks. There we go. We got it. There. Now I kept the screws inside the back plate here so I wouldn't have any problems later on taking this all apart. Now we're ready to just snap this all back together again. So here I have the two screws on each side and one in the middle. So that's the way you want it. So we're just going to put this case over very carefully. You'll hear a little click and then tighten up the screws. And don't over tighten. This is all plastic. You don't want to destroy anything. There we go. There. Just check the screws all. There. Okay, so they're all tight. Now let's just put that rubber boot back on. Like that. Let's turn the multimeter on. Everything looks like it's working the way it should. So this is how you replace the battery in your digital multimeter and replace and check the fuse if necessary. Feedback and comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching.